Hello and welcome back to Opus Magnum. Today we are going to create fragrant powders. Anyone worthy of note has attended the Fortuna... <laughs> wow, I should have looked at that word before I tried to say it. Fortunatus... I was pretty close, actually. Fortunatus Ball at one point or another. And few can forget the wonderful fragrances that fill each of the three main halls of the event. Fewer know that these scents are newly designed every year, making each ball a unique event that can never be repeated. The production engines for these fragrances are usually regarded with utmost secrecy, but I have received special permission from the Lady Clara Soraya herself to reproduce a certain historic set. Many years ago, the Fortunatus Ball was crudely interrupted when Varen Ravari, head alchemist of House Colvin, assassinated his own patriarch in a sad and ultimately fruitless attempt to gain control. Luckily, the errant alchemist was immediately apprehended and jailed, though it was too late to save the heir of Auskolven. By recreating these aromas, one can almost travel back in time to relive those dramatic events. Alright, just two chambers. Get some, some dappled meadow, enchanted forest, freshwater brook, some earth, some tin, and we get one... Now, this is interesting because we've got three different products here that I'm basically going to put in the corners for now. But we're going to need definitely a binding unit here. And I'm guessing like a old piston arm can work here. So, all right. So this is going to be a lot of instruction, of course. Oh, okay. We need... You can slide over here. We're always using this unit first, so that's not a huge thing. This is going to be a splitter, for sure. It has to be. So this completely used, and this is going to be sort of the same stuff. We just need to make sure we can do what we need to with this binder. Um, I don't think we can, because, well, let's just put the binder like over here instead. So, number one. Let's, let's change these. Let's get rid of those for now. Let's put this over. I want that next to the conduit. Interesting, also, we're going to have to, at some point, convert. So we're going to have to use one of these, also. But that's not going to be a huge deal. That's just something we're going to have to do. So you're going to grab, turn, 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 close. No, just just release. Don't close, just release it. And then turn, turn. Well, no, you would turn, grab, release, turn, turn, grab, turn, turn. And then you can close. So you're going to, yeah, you're gonna split those, drop the salt, grab the tin, drop that, and then go back and get the grass. And so you've got to do the binding, you just need to decide what you want to bind first. And I'm thinking, like, these releases are also gonna have to be delayed, so let's slide that back just for now. And so you can grab and I think we actually will want to... Create this back one first. That just seems the most complicated. So let's just go ahead and grab that. Immediately. So, grab...
Let's actually change this. Let's let's change this entirely. Okay. Stop it. Put the clothes at the end. Get rid of that. Put the release there. All right. So you're going to grab, turn, turn, close, grab. So you can go immediate. That's cool. Grab, okay, grab, turn, and do, do I want to, no, I don't think I do, so let's, release, turn, grab, turn, close, Grab one, two, three, release one, two, grab two, three, release, turn, grab, extend, close. So that's a lot of instruction there. Probably more than we need, and I fucked it up. I fucked it up. What happened? Put the salt there. You turned. You turned the wrong way. Not you. Not you. You turned the wrong way. Okay. Put the salt there. Put the grass there. Is that backwards? Yeah, that's backwards. And then we get this, go back and get the tin. Get the grass, boop, boop, boop. Okay, that one's done. Unfortunately, this guy's been at a standstill. I mean, at what point? Right there you can release the next one, right in here. So... Let's run to this point. hang out there for a minute. We'll put a close up here just so you're not being crazy. And all right, so you've, you've got a hold of this one. You're going to grab it. And it really just depends which one we feel like making first. One, two, three, close. release here? Is that okay? No. Release there. Just have that up the way a bit. And then you're going to grab, turn, and then you can again release, or actually rather close there, I imagine. And turn, turn, close. Okay, so I want you Turn, turn, grab, turn, turn, okay, do that one's done, get the tin, you obviously you're going to grab that, turn it twice, that'll give us the whole thing, okay, you're then going to release, turn, grab, and then I think just turn, turn, extend, close. 
done. Okay, you, I think probably here you can release, roughly. So, grab one, two, three. Maybe move that down a tick. Oh, that can that can go even even sooner. Not that it really matters because number two has to catch up to it. Yeah, that's fine. Release. Okay, and then you're gonna turn, grab, turn. You're going to grab. And then I guess, turn, turn, close? I guess we're just gonna build this one backwards. Release, and turn, grab, and turn. Just trying to see exactly where we're at. All right, so we put that there. Yeah, so we're just going to build this one backwards. Grab one, two, three, four, close, and then grab one, two, three, four, extend, close. And I think that'll do her. A lot of instructions there, 142, but we make that thing. Make this one, then do this one backwards. Oh shit! Okay. I and mean, honestly, just move that there and you're done. I, f I forgot to grab the middle block, which is what I had done on the other three. But it's not a problem. So it actually probably just saves a couple instructions. If we had a little bit more room, I could probably do the same with the first two, and it wouldn't be a problem. But there you go. One arm in each chamber, knocking some fragrances out. A lot of instruction. This probably isn't going to be a good score, but I'm pretty happy with it. It was pretty quick. What are we at? 12.52. I don't remember what I said. I think it was under 10 minutes I would do another puzzle, so didn't quite earn that this time, but I'm still pretty pleased with the result. Instructions right on what most people do, cycles what most people do. Cost is, I guess, as cheap as possible. So, <laughs> obviously I'm happy with that. We managed to get it, make it as cheaply as it's possible to make it, so. Or as cheaply as anyone has made it. I, I, I don't think there's anything I could take out of here. So it's probably as cheap as possible. But that was a nice, quick and easy episode. Next time will be Rat Poison. We are already 3 out of 11 done. Uh, doing pretty well. Uh, with myself uploading these one a day, the updates have actually been coming pretty frequently. So probably by the time you guys get to this episode, there will be more stuff. But as I'm playing it today, this is the end. I think I, I feel like I gave this exact speech like five episodes ago. So forget about that and come back for the next one. It'll be fun.